Good soup. Day, I forgot what day it is. Day 11. Day 11, good soup. That's what this is. So in this one, we're gonna be going over a highly requested soup, hot and sour soup. And this style is one of my favorites. You might be familiar with this style, which has the black vinegar and the other style that has like the hot sauce, the red one. This is my favorite one because one of my mentors that I grew up learning from, he's a Chinese chef and he like makes the best hot and sour soup. So we're gonna go over that today. Okay, dude, so before we even start everything, if you got the dried shiitake mushrooms, I suggest you get dried because it has more flavor. You can also utilize the broth that comes with it when you soak it. Fresh is fine, but this has more flavor. Anyways, you wanna get these soaking because it takes about an hour. If you wanna be prepared, just soak them overnight. Hot water, cover, let that sit for about an hour. And now, this is all just gonna be cutting prep. This is gonna be major prep here. It's just gonna be knife work. For your protein, it's typically pork. I got some pork butt. You can use that, but today we're gonna just do chicken breast. A lot of people have this on deck, so we might as well use chicken breast. A lot of people have it, and also high protein, lower fat. Let's do that. Okay, first up, I'm doing bamboo shoots. They sell them canned and already cut for you. You can get these, you can do the fresh stuff, but I'm just gonna do it this right now. And I really like the way, if you guys have ever been to Din Tai Fung, they have everything julienned. So uh, let's just julienne all our stuff today. It's like stacking up all my planks. <laughs> All right, that's one. Bench scraper, best tool, get one. Do you know peelers go both ways? All right, that's two. I got some king oyster shrooms. These are nice. I love these mushrooms, super good. That's two. Mm, three. Oh, that's three. <laughs> I can't count anymore. My Taki mushrooms. I love these. And I'm substituting these today for the woodier mushrooms because I didn't get them ordered. So my Takis it is. Pretty little petals. And that is four, because four comes after three. <laughs> Scallions. Saving the tops for the garnish. Five, preserving some of that mushroom broth. And I lost count, <laughs> there we go. Some young ginger. About a tablespoon of that and some garlic. Now for the boil. Now we've got pretty little chicken strips. Then I've got some soft tofu. Let's do about, call it nine ounces. Now I've got some white peppercorn. This is what really adds that flavor to this soup. All right, look at that, Michael. Mise en place, everybody. <laughs> That's a lot of knife work. Okay, dude, so sesame oil is what we start with. Now we're just adding in our garlic, ginger, and then chicken. Now we're just adding in our chicken stock. Two quarts of chicken stock. Now we're just dumping shrooms, maitake shrooms, shiitake shrooms, carrots, bamboo, and then that mushroom stock. I just gotta bring this up to a simmer real quick. Okay, so now I've gotta do is make the slurry. So I'm gonna do, let's say one, two, let's call it three tablespoons cornstarch. And then I'm gonna add, let's say a cup of water to that. Cold water, by the way. Whenever working with cornstarch, you wanna do cold water. Give that a little whiskey whisk. And this is not going in yet. You gotta wait till this is boiling. Set that aside, and then we're gonna do what really makes the flavor of this soup right here. Here's what we're gonna do. Black vinegar. I'm gonna do like a three to one ratio of black vinegar to soy sauce. Then I'm gonna do some sesame oil in there for some added richness, and then my white pepper. This is what's gonna go into my soup at the very end. Wait till the very end. 
And I'm gonna do two eggs since I have two quarts of liquid. I'm just lightly beating it, not all the way. I still want some of those whites intact. Okay, now that this has come to a boil, we're gonna add our slurry here. So that goes in. I'll we'll make sure to whisk it up really quick. Fully incorporated. Now you should see it thicken up immediately. If it doesn't thicken to your liking, you can always do some more cornstarch. Then at this point, I can add in my tofu. You gotta wait till the end for the tofu as well. And then I can add in my liquid to taste, my seasoning liquid. And then I might just add some salt to taste as well. If you don't wanna use salt, you can use some more soy sauce. And then also I'll use just a touch of MSG. Just look at that soup come to life. That looks really good, it smells good. Oh, it's nice. Okay, now once we got simmering again and it's seasoned to our liking, I'm just gonna make a little vortex, give it a little turny turn, and then I'm gonna drop in my eggs. Keep turning. Just like the way I did it in that egg drop soup video. And there we go, hot sour soup. Now once that's all done, we can just chop up some of our green onions or scallions or cilantro and put that on in there. That smell good. It smells delicious. <laughs> okay, in the poll, I asked you guys, which bowl? I'll ask again, which bowl? This one or this one? Left or right? Look at that, nice. All right, you get the fancy bowl, Michael. There you go. Thank you. Time to try this out. This is my favorite. Actually, fun fact, my first like mentor chef back home was, he, he is a Chinese chef and he's actually a master chef and uh, I love his hot and sour soup. Still, mine is definitely not as good as his. Oh man, that's so f***ing good. Here, try this out. Hot. It is really hot. <laughs> it just came out. It was really good though. I love all the like julienne veggies in there. Nice texture, super good. I'd probably say use firm tofu instead of soft though. Kind of breaks apart. Uh, let us know what you want to see next. Smash like, subscribe.